This is my fabric. I'm using this fabric to make this dress and I also have my lining. This is a cutting fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice as long as it's a cutting fabric. I have pinned my pattern paper on my fabric. This is how it is right now. I add one centimeter seam allowance on the side seam, arm hole, shoulder, neckline. For the center bag, I add 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. So this is my back pattern paper that I pin on my fabric. So once you have add your seam allowance on the back pattern paper, go ahead and cut it out. Remember to also cut your lining. When you are cutting your lining, make sure that your lining is shorter than your main fabric. I have pinned my pattern paper on my fabric. So this is the front pattern paper. So I pick the center front. This is on fold. My fabric is on fold. I add one centimeter seam allowance at the neckline, shoulder, armhole, and then in between the fabric. This is where we cut out the preset seam. So this is how it is once you join them together. This is how it will look. So I add one centimeter seam allowance, and I also add one centimeter seam allowance at the bottom. For the center front, this is also the center front of the pattern paper. You can see that I give a gap on the center front. What you are going to do when you are pinning your pattern paper on your fabric, from the fold hem side, because this side is folded, while this side is the raw edges, you place your measuring tape like this. You measure down 12 centimeter or 4.75 inch. You just go ahead and measure down 12 centimeter or 4.75 inch. Once you have done that, go ahead and pin your center front where you measure 12 centimeter or 4.75 inch. So once you have done that, add one centimeter seam allowance at the top right here. Add one centimeter seam allowance at the side because we are also going to join it together like this so because for the front you when you are joining them together you're also going to join it together like this so you need seam allowance to join them together so that is it for the center front for the in between the pattern paper where we cut out this preset seam right here add one centimeter seam allowance all around the armhole and the side seam do not add seam allowance at the bottom because I've already had 1.5 inch or 4 centimeter. I have pinned my front pattern paper on my lining. You can see how I pin it on my lining. So you just go ahead and take it and tape them together. Add one centimeter seam allowance at the neckline, shoulder, armhole, and side seam. Once you have done that, you just go ahead and cut it out. Because we are not going to cut our lining the way we cut our May fabric. So that is why I say you have to join your pattern paper together and place it as a line pattern paper and cut it out. Or for you can make a copy of your front pattern paper. Just place it in a different paper trace it all out so that you know that you have that separately then you can go ahead and you know make adjustment on your front pattern paper so go ahead and cut out your lining once you have done that we can now put the dress together first thing that you have to do you open your lining this is the front of my lining and I'm going to put them together. This is the back of my lining. I'm putting the both shoulder seam together. So once I am done, I will just take my pin and secure the both shoulder seam of my lining together. I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, go ahead and stitch the lining shoulder seam together. Once you have done that, you take your front top. This is the front of my May fabric. I will take my back May fabric. I'm going to also 
put the bow shoulder seam together like this. I will pick the other pieces and I will also put the bow shoulder seam together. Once I am done with that, I will go ahead and secure the bow shoulder seam with a pin. Once you have pinned the bow shoulder seam together, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the bow shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. The next thing you take your center front, so this is the center front of our fabric. This is where we add our 12 centimeter or 4.75 inch. Once you cut your fabric, make sure to give it a notch or just take your scissors, give it a little cut so that you know that this is the top why this is the bottom so i have done that already what i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine and set my sewing machine to the longest stitch i'm going to stitch it all the way down so go ahead and stitch them together I have stitched the both shoulder seam together. I just take it to my ironing board and press the seam apart. And I've also stitched my gather stitch thread. And this is the center front top. You just take your scissors, you just give it a little cut right there. So what you are going to do, you pick your fabric, you put the both together. You can see the both where I cut it. You put them together like this you pin it in place come to this other side pin it in place and you will do the same thing on this side so what you're going to do you're going to gather this and you're going to gather this all you have to do you just go ahead and pull it gradually you can see how that is you just go ahead and use your tray to secure it like this and then you can fix your gather properly once you have done it like this you just go ahead and pin them together you can see how that is you also go ahead and repeat the same process on this other side of the fabric I have pinned it together. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, remove the gather stitch thread. You can either zigzag it to overlock the raw edges or take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges. I have stitched it together, this is how it is. And I take it to my overlock, I just overlock the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to pin the princess seam together like this. You can see that both front fabric are facing each other. You just go ahead and pin it all the way down. You come to this other side, place it like this, all the way, you go ahead and pin it all the way down. So go ahead and pin them together. That. I have pinned it all the way down. This is how it is once you pin it all the way to the bottom. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it all the way down with one centimeter seam allowance. Also go ahead and stitch it all the way down with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, overlock it with your overlocker sewing machine or take your zigzag stitches and just go ahead and zigzag it to overlock the raw edge. I have stitched it together. This is how it is once you have done stitching. And I also go ahead and push the seam towards the bodies. And I top stitch. You can see my top stitch here. And I also go ahead and do the same thing. I push the seam towards the bodies and I top stitch. And I also do the same thing. So this is how the front of your dress will look once you have done stitching. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to take our lining and place it on top of our may fabric so you place your lining like this make sure that both front 
fabric are facing each other you just go ahead and pin around the neckline and pin around the armhole remember your seam allowance at the center back so my seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric make sure you measure inside and give it a mark so that you don't stitch everything together so go ahead and pin around the both armhole and neckline once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance I have stitched the neckline and the both armhole. The next thing that you have to do, you take your scissor, make sure you snip around the neckline, just like this. And you also do the same thing with the armhole. Once you have done that, you just put your hand inside and turn your dress inside out. Once you have turned it inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. Take my dress to my ironing board and give it a good press. This is how it looks. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to put the both side seam of the dress together. You just pick them together, both lining together, make fabric together. You go ahead and pin it all the way down. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Go ahead and stitch the both side seam of your dress together. Once you have done that, you can also take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have stitched my side seam of the dress together. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I just give it a good press. And I also overlock the center back raw edges, both the lining. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to stitch your invisible zipper at the center back. So what you are going to do, you take your measuring tape. You're going to decide where you want your zipper to end so for me i'm going to take a measurement of 38 centimeter or 15 inch 38 centimeter is right here or 15 inch you come to this other side you do the same thing you go ahead and measure it down 38 centimeter or 15 inches once you have done that take your marker and give it a mark so the next thing that you have to do you open your zipper like this once you open your zipper so you turn your zipper to this side remember our zipper allowance is 1.5 centimeter make sure to measure inside 1.5 centimeter so what i'm going to do this is my zipper Head. I'm going to place it like this, pinning all the way down where my 15 inch end or 38 centimeter. So go ahead and pin your zipper at the center back of your dress making. So I have pinning all the way down. The next thing that you have to do, this is the other side of the zipper. So when you're going to pin it on this other side, you turn your zipper like this. This side will be facing the raw edges of the center back. You just go ahead and pick your main fabric. Make sure when you're pinning it together, you're not pinning your lining. You separate your lining. Then you open it like this, pick your zipper, and go ahead and pin it all the way down. Once you have done that, we can now take it to our sewing machine and top stitch. I 
have stitched my zipper together. The next thing that you have to do, you go ahead and zip your dress and see how it look. This is how my look right now. I will go ahead and open my zipper. So once I am done with that, I will pick my lining and turn it over like this. And I'm going to pin my lining to cover the raw edges of my zipper. So when you are pinning, make sure that you pin it out to the point where your zipper stitches end. So this is where my zipper stitches end. So I'm going to pin my lining to that point. Once I am done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. I have used my lining to cover the raw edges of my zipper. This is how it look inside. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to finish stitching the center back. So what you're going to do, you just turn your dress inside out like this. Once you have turned it inside out, put the both lining together like this. You go ahead and stitch it all the way down. You just put them together like this. You stitch it all the way down and you also repeat the same thing with your main fabric. You put them together, go ahead and stitch it all the way down. Once you have done that, you use that opportunity to hem your dress. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and give it a top stitch. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on the bottom edge go ahead and hem your dress so my seam allowance is four centimeter i'll fold inside two centimeter and then i'll fold it again two centimeter and top stitch so when i'm going to hem my lining i'm going to use lace to design the bottom edge of my lining i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch and then turn it over like this and this is how it will look once i am done stitching so go ahead and stitch that together once you have done that your dress is finally ready i will show you how my finally look This is the final look of my dress. I have hemmed the dress two centimeter and I've also used my lace for the lining. You can see that this is how it finally look once you have done making your own dress. Thank you all so much for watching and have a marvelous day. Bye.